Good morning! It is so good to be out vlogging again and taking you along on a hike. We are currently on the Longendale Trail, but we are going to be heading up to the Pennine Way, exploring a secret cave, which I want to show you, which I'm sure some of you out there might know about already. We're then heading over the top of Featherbed Moss and on our way over to Greenfield, hopefully taking in another chig point at Alfin Pike. But I have got my cameraman with me today, so expect plenty of walk-bys. <laughs> and I just can't wait to share some wonderful sights of the Peak District with you today. The weather is going to be mixed. We have got about a 40% chance of rain, hence we're all waterproofed up today. So it's going to be one of those days where I think we just keep taking our waterproofs on and off all day. But that is the joy of hiking sometimes. Right, let's get hiking. Well, it has been absolutely wonderful so far. We've done about four miles. I forgot to mention earlier that the hike itself that we've plotted is between 12 and 13 miles, depending on how many little detours we do. And we are now on the Pennine Way, heading on the steeper bit, going up towards Lado Rocks. And that is where the cave should be. So what I'm gonna do is tell you exactly where it is. So if you're ever out exploring and you want to come and find it, it is a lovely little place. I went down there, I think it was at the beginning of last year for the very first time with one of my friends, Becky, and it was wonderful. It was a great little find. I was like, how many times have I walked on this trail and never seen it before? So I can't wait to share that with you. We are gonna just head off now. We've just had a little snack and I am carrying a lot of water with me today probably about three litres or so, three and a half litres, because I am currently doing something called 75 hard. I think I'm on day 62, so I am nearly at the 75 day point, not far to go now. If you want to know more details about it or want a day in my life or any videos about it, put it in the comments below and I will do that for you. I wasn't sure if it was something I should put on this channel with it being more outdoor adventure channel, but I think the main reason for doing 75 hard is because I wanted to push myself and make myself do two lots of exercise every day, one of which has to be outdoors on this challenge. And it is going really well so far. I have stuck to it completely and I have, have reaped some benefits from it. I wouldn't say that everything that it's promising is what is delivered, but I will talk about that in another video if you're interested. So do let me know. Right, we're gonna head off now. We are going up that trail there 
and we should have some beautiful views opening out to us. We have made it to the cave. I'm so glad I remembered where it was with a little help from checking my GPS location last time I was here. So we have come from up there and come all the way down here. And the cave is just down there. It's probably focusing on my face. So I'll turn the camera around in a second. But oh my gosh, it is such a cool place to come and see. And the views would probably be a lot better on a nicer day. But if you have got the What Three Words app, I think that's what it's called, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. and the three words are? Rash tells officials. Rash tells officials. So if you're looking for it, I will put the details across the screen here so you can have a little look exactly where you need to turn right off the trail as if you're heading north and then come down here. I mean, it's pretty safe to climb down. I'm not a massive risk taker and I feel fairly confident walking down here. There's no major sheer drops as long as you're careful with your foot in. Right, let's stop talking and show you this cave. Not a bad place for a lunch spot, is it? I mean, it, who knew? It's a perfect little place here in the Peak District. I think you could probably camp in here, which I am sure people have done before as well. So we have got some veg mayonnaise sandwiches, which is vegan egg mayonnaise. Um, I did actually post the recipe over on Patreon, so my patrons will recognise this. It is made out of tofu and lots of other ingredients and it is so tasty. So anyone that's plant-based or vegan out there that doesn't eat eggs, this is a really good recipe. So check me out on Patreon, it's just Mary Mansfield. So we are going to enjoy our lunch and then head back up to along through Lado Rocks again and then make our way over to Featherbed Moss to look for a trick point. <laughs>
Well, we have made it to the checkpoint at Featherbed Moss. This is 541 meters high, which I think is the highest point on the walk today. It has been over very boggy, Peak District, Pete, you know, the usual stuff where your feet's just sludging through things and you try not to break your ankle as you walk. It's one of those kind of areas. So we're not on any specific trail at the moment. So it's very exciting. And you know, you never just know where your feet are gonna land. But we are heading over that way now. And we're gonna be passing Chu Reservoir, which will be on our right hand side. And we're gonna try and make our way to Alfin Pike by going over the mosses. <laughs> could end up in a disaster you might end up going back to the trail and then back up the hill again because it does slow you down walking over terrain like this it's exciting but it does slow you down an awful lot but we're going to be heading over to Alfin Pike which is another trig point that we're going to hopefully get before we then drop down over near Dove Stones and arrive in Greenfields I think we've done around about seven seven and a half miles so far and it has been lovely it got really cold though we had to put our puffies and gloves on it was that cold after the cave um, but it was totally worth it. We've also been seeing lots of little seeds or kind of new buds coming through on the grass and I have a feeling it is cotton grass and I've never seen it like that I've never noticed it like that before I've obviously always seen the cotton grass but never seen it so when I'm walking along I'll try and get a close-up of it and if you do recognize it let me know but I'm pretty sure it is cotton grass before it's actually opened out and gives that typical white cotton look. <laughs> down now from the trig point back up there from Alfin Pike so it was really nice to see that trig and we are heading now over to Greenfield which you can see here so I thought I would start ending this video now while it's quiet and while you still got a bit of nice scenery it has been an amazing walk today we've really enjoyed it it's worked out about 12 and a half miles and we have been battered by lots of different weather but it has certainly been a lovely refreshing walk if you have enjoyed this video 
don't forget, you can check out all my other hiking videos on my channel. There is a particular one called a re-energising re nature hike in Dovedale, where we visit Biggindale and explore a really good cave there, which is extremely long. So if you like caves, then check this video out here. I will put it here and also in the description box below for you. But thank you so much for coming along with us today. It has been really nice having you come along on a wonderful walk here in the Peak District. And I will see you in the next one. Goodbye. <laughs>